All right, on to the fourth quarter. Snowhawks have the ball. Hand off to Mark Logan, and that is about one yard to the Miami 23-yard line after that huge Alvin Harper play. Second and nine, shotgun. Aikman is sacked by David Griggs again for nine yards to the Miami 32-yard line. So not a really good play right there. We got a third down play. Aikman throws it down the right side to Alvin Harper. Alvin Harper gets it to the three-yard line. Huge first down on third and 18. Troy Aikman showing everybody why he is the MVP of the BTFL Season 2. And having a great conference championship game as well. First and goal. Aikman hands off to Eric Pegram, and Eric Pegram has the touchdown. Three yards into the end zone, 26 to nothing. The Portland Snowhawks are absolutely blowing out the Miami Riptide. Eddie Murray with the extra point. Ball is spotted, kick is away, and it is good. 27 to nothing for the Portland Snowhawks. Eddie Murray will kick off again to Ricky Prohl, and he will get it in the end zone, and he only gets out to the one. Not a very good situation. Only two completions for Jim Everett. Bettis up the middle, and he will gain one to the Miami two. Second and nine. Motion man. Everett hands the ball off to Mark Higgs, and Mark Higgs... Makes some moves up the middle. And Higgs gets to around the 30-yard line. Great job avoiding tacklers by Mark Higgs, who's the backup fullback here. Guys are falling at his feet. He's making it past the 20, making it past the 25 to the 30, 31-yard line. First and 10. Handoff to Jerome Bettis. And the bus only gains about two yards. To the 33 of the Miami Riptide. Second and eight. Everett back. Throws it down the left side. To Fred Barnett. Fred Barnett with the catch at the 41 yard line. For a big gain. And that is the first catch of the game for Fred Barnett. He's been silent in this contest. First and 10. 41 yard line. Everett back. He'll throw it down the left side again for Barnett. But the pass is deflected by the Portland Snowhawks. So you you got to try to get points. you got to get an onside kick. you got to essentially get four straight touchdowns before the end of this game and get onside kicks. Second and ten. Everett back. Throws it down the left side again, and it's incomplete. Intended for Barnett. This one on first down. Now we're at second down and ten. Or excuse me, third down and ten. Everett. Deep passes over the middle to Sterling Sharp. He dies for the catch. And the first down at around the, I would say, 11 or, no, the 7 or so yard line is Sterling Sharp. First and goal. Handoff to Bettis, and Bettis gets about 4 yards to the Portland 3. With about 3 minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. See who's going to the best Tecmo Bowl. Bettis up the middle. Touchdown. I think it might be a little too little too late. 27 to 6 is the score. But at least you didn't get shut out. That's what I always say. I'd rather not get shut out in a game like this. I'd rather get some points. You feel good about yourself. Bettis had a great season. We'll see how it goes. Extra point. John Casey is good. 27-7. to 7. So it's a 20-point game. Let's see if there's a comeback. Onside kick. No. Ball's recovered by the Portland Snowhawks. First and 10. Aikman back. He'll throw it down the right side to Alvin Harper. It's caught. Great job by Alvin Harper there. 22-yard reception to the 26-yard line of the Miami Riptide. First and 10. Aikman back. Checks the ball down to Mark Logan. And he will gain about 18 yards to the 8 of the Miami Riptide. And the Miami Riptide 
will call their first timeout. Down 20 points, 27 to 7. With around 2 minutes and 40 sec 42 seconds left. Excuse me. Shotgun. First and 8. Aikman. No pressure in his face. He throws it into the end zone and it's incomplete. Intended for Alvin Harper. Second down and 8. Aikman will hand it off to Eric Pegram, and Eric Pegram gets to around the three-yard line for a gain of five, and Miami will go ahead and call a timeout with around two minutes and 15 seconds left in this game. Third and three. Guys in motion. Hand off up the middle to Pegram, and did he get the touchdown? The referees are going to say no. He's at the around the inch line. Eddie Murray with the field goal. Ball is spotted. Kick is away. And the 18-yard field goal is good. 30-7 for the Portland Snowhawks. Eddie Murray will kick it off with a little less than two minutes left. Ricky Prohl will return it. And he makes it to around the 27-yard line of the Miami Riptide. Everett back. First down. Throws it to Sterling Sharp. And Sterling Sharp makes it into... Uh, Portland territory this might be too late for Miami but they'll still try to show that they've got something left in the tank show something for spirit show it for pride and Miami will call another timeout first and ten five completions for Everett and he'll throw it to Cooper over the middle Adrian Cooper is incomplete through it in coverage. They need to go deep. They need to be getting big plays here. Second and 10. A minute 28 seconds left. Everett out of the pocket. He'll run down the left side and he makes it past the 30. Past the 20. He's inside the red zone for around a gain of 28 yards to the 16 yard line of the Portland Snowhawks. And Miami will have a first down. First and 10 for the Miami Riptide. Everett back. Steps up and he's sacked by Aaron Wallace. Penetration up the middle. He had guys open but decided he wasn't going to throw to them. Second and 15. 48 seconds left. Everett back. He'll throw over the middle to Sterling Sharp. It's incomplete. Just missed him. If only Miami had more time left. They really don't have any time in this game. They're just playing for pride. Third and 15. Motion guy. Hand off to Mark Higgs. This won't help them. And Mark Higgs runs for a gain of nothing. No gain on the play. You need to be passing into the end zone. And the clock is ticking down. Fourth and 15. Split backfield. Everett. Over the middle. Ball is intercepted by Dave Wehmer. And the ball goes to the Portland 10. And that pretty much will do it for this game. First and 10. Ball will be handed off to Mark Logan. And he will gain around 11 yards. And that's it. The Portland Snowhawks win 30-7 over the Miami Riptide, who are the home team. And the Portland Snowhawks will play against the Buffalo Stampede in the best Tecmo Bowl. Congratulations to them. This is Hank with the PR52 YouTube channel on Fox. See you then, guys.